Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I believe I am <laughs> Rex, and it is your turn. And it is Rare Whiskey Friday. I uh, believe uh, we have quite the streak going. Yeah. Right? Am I, I gonna I be the one the that drops the ball? The, I set the standard, it was clean. You took it up a notch with clean and inflection. I did. And then I brought it with clean and inflection, arguably a little speedy, but I still had cleanliness and inflection. Now it is once again your turn. Mm-hmm. It could go any direction at this point. What are the stakes? Stakes. Yes. I don't this know. is my stakes hand. What are the stakes? And stakes. I don't, I don't know. But stakes though. Well, let's figure that out on the next one. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you put me on the spot, I'm an introvert, I need time to think, so. Well, you wait until it's my turn. Yeah. I see what you did, yeah. You ready? Yes. Here's to fighting, stealing, and shaking. <laughs> <laughs> We're out really good. <laughs> uh, Do your credit okay, you okay. get that all in one breath. It was a long yes. breath, it was good. <laughs> now I'm laughing and I don't have good diagram, fam, <laughs> diaphragm control. Okay, welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday. We're gonna go through and sample a few bottles. Some are large brands. More often than not, they are small craft distilleries without a large amount of distribution. If you should be so lucky as to get your hands on a bottle, you're welcome for the review and thank you to the magnificent bastard that sent it in. I lost it on it in. That was where I went in. But it works, it's good enough. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So in the comments, what should the stakes be for Daniel's next time? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> all right, this is all from William Shepard, the trashy titan. Daniel, he's, okay. I am William Shepard. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our Whiskey. Barton, yes. 1792 distillery, yes. decided, hey, let's get into the finishing game. Did you hear this little bit of news? About mm -hmm. their barrel house. You don't. <gasps> what? No! Nobody talked that about that. So... <laughs> that is outrageous. I never. I hope they found the person responsible. I never knew that until just now. I wonder if they're going to do a release of Fallen Barrels. Dude, if they don't, they're morons. Yeah. Come on. All right. Anyway, so they did this re this brand called Thomas S. Moore, naming a really famous guy in whiskey history and mm -hmm. blah, 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 right? These whiskeys are all finished. They're Barton whiskey finished. Oh, nice. So we've got a port yeah. cask, Ooh. a Cabernet Sauvignon, Double Sauvignon, and a Chardonnay. Mm. So we're going to start with yes. the Chardonnay. So as you pour, I do think our flawless record with pronunciation, mm -hmm. you do need to get that right. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. A cabernet sauvignon. Yeah, there's a little bit more of a, a cabernet more. sauvignon. There you go. Punchy on the yo. A cabernet sauvignon. Yes. All right. It. Got it. Use okay. that with your friends. And this is a cabernet sauvignon. A cabernet sauvignon. But first, the chardonnay. Okay. That's how you say that one. So Char chardonnay. 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 Cabernet sauvignon. Like any age. Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Yeah. Cabernet sauvignon. And then port. <laughs> <laughs> Chardonnay, Cabernet, Port. Got it. Start right. with Chardonnay. Yes. Chardonnay. <laughs> Chardonnay. Chardonnay. All right. Yeah, there is. That's a, hard to find anything. There's more. Well, until you do the AB. The uh, sweet fruitiness that's around this classic bourbon. I think it is a little bit fruitier than I typically get from a bourbon. I don't know if that's. Well, we'll know in the AB. We'll know in the yeah, AB. Yeah, there's a really. Yeah. Thin, sick, sickly sweet late note. Now yeah, that is sweet though. That is that is sweet. You say thin sweet. Thin sweet. I say shiny and bright. I say hurt me sweet. You know what though? I'm gonna do a nosing side by side before oh, I do it. Oh damn! It's too late for that. Oh. Oh. Weird. Okay, I'll come back to that. You don't like the Chardonnay? No, it was weird. It went like big voluptuous bourbon and then quickly just like funneled down to a point right that became sweeter 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 and then finally vegetation okay so there's whoo that's weird i'm gonna give you a little spoiler here right. nose spoilers okay first two the chardonnay and cabernet sauvignon those are different but they're pretty close the moment you put your nose in the port mm -hmm. oh yeah very that's... different very different that is very much yeah. 
I wonder what kind. It smells tawny. It smells like almonds. It's yeah, it smells like toasted almonds. Very dusty, toasty, like a little bit denser, darker of a fruity wow. character. Really like the nose on that one. Okay. Uh, these two are very, very like 10% different on the nose. Now I just did the Chardonnay. Yeah. And then goes bourbon, then sweet, yeah. sweet, 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 sweet vegetation. Yeah, yeah. You see mm. what I mean? Yeah. That little tangy vegetation end. You say vegetation, I just say it just evaporates <sighs> and just kind of fades off into the, the distance, like a fog just mm -hmm. lifting. Okay, and then All right. Uh, okay, that is over there. Over there. Oh, that's weird. It doesn't fade the same way. No, but it sort of jumps. Like, this feels like an, uh, a vinyl record skipping. Okay. <laughs> right? Like, you're getting the song, but it just goes, get, 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 get. I'm going back to the Chardonnay. I remember when we were kids, the thing that would really piss off my dad in our old, old, old house is when he was playing records, and we would come running through the living room and the wood floors, and the record would go, <laughs> and he'd be like, you're ruining the vinyl record. <laughs> okay, so between the Cabernet and Cabernet Sauvignon, the Chardonnay and Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, which two are you, are you preferring? I'm waiting for the port because that's so obviously different. Mm -hmm. We'll do a head-to-head -head with the two that are similar. I don't like either that much. Um, they're just strange. I like... I think if I had to pick, I'd say Chardonnay. Yeah, I would, I would do the Chardonnay too. Chardonnay. <laughs> But I don't like it. Well, it's just I prefer it to the Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. That's now, weird. There's this, just this. It's like putting a couple of things together that you thought would work, but just aren't quite okay. coming together. So that, you say, I don't like, like it. It's like, hold on, man. You got recognizably classic bourbon flavors. Right. You got... Fruity characters swimming in there too. Yeah, like but these they're are not both marrying. Hard. But then, okay, now you're starting to make a bit of sense whenever you're saying it's not for you. <laughs> because yeah. whenever you say, well, there's two things that are, I think, in a different situation, they'd be fine. Right. Together, it uh, doesn't quite work. It's yeah. not It's not peanut butter and pickles. Oh, God, no, that's it's terrible. Like peanut butter and cinnamon. Huh. Right? It's like, it's just... Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Huh. All yeah. right. Um, now, I'm kind of looking forward to this one. I hope it marries together a little more. So much different. It's less sugar, bright sweetness on the nose, just a little bit more hefty, foggy, dark fruitiness. Ah! Uh, you know what? That cherry, that cherry turned into almost like the cough syrup cherry. Yeah, I, so so this is more of a cohesive flavor. Yeah. But it's still a little abrasive. What are the proofs, Strangely. What are the proofs on these? This one's 49. This one's almost 50%. This is 48.9. This is 49. Yeah, these are all around the 50% mark. Okay. But this one feels sharp and and a little aggressive. Okay. So. I gotta say. I prefer to just get a bottle of Barton's. The shard oh, just the regular? Yeah, just a regular Barton's. Okay. I'm not a fan of the finishes. This is. <laughs> I still have not finished with the port. Mm. I want to see if what I'm getting on the nose shows up enough on the taste. You didn't try it yet? I did, oh. but I just went in once. And oh, okay. Maybe I acclimate. You know what? It's <sighs> There is this. I really wanted this to be like the way that... Um, Glenn Morangy has like, here's our sherry, here's our various, you know, casks. I really wanted this to be a perfect example of bourbon finishing. I'm gonna say this, which is going to be so annoying, mm. so unhelpful, okay. and it only will make sense to me okay. and my head, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Okay. The, there's an element in the character on the nose of this port finish. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. <laughs> Look, yawning is involuntary, okay? It is not. <laughs> but you lean into the yawn. It's not like you lean in, it's like, oh, there's one coming. It's not like you can pull the trigger on it. <laughs> Look, have you ever half yawned? It is one of the most unsatisfying feelings on the planet. It is worse than almost sneezing. A yawn that doesn't fin go all the way through, that is a terrible feeling. So, okay, what's the thing that's in your head? So we're established that your feelings are more important. 
<laughs> I just don't want to distract you. Just in case. No, no, honey, I'm listening. It's fine. It's fine. No, I want to hear what you have. Yeah, yeah, no. Did you roll your eyes? What? No. <laughs> totally didn't. Okay. So on the nose, there is this... The oh, I, I describe it as kind of foggy. The same... Not the same flavors, but kind of the same experience in the first quarter of this taste on the palate. It's similar to the experience I have with Berklotti Black Art. Really? In what way? Ah, so you can't describe it. There is oh, foggy. Is ah, oh, it is like this heavy. Oh, I can't describe it. This is why it's going to be so annoying. Which is why we desperately need to pull out the Brick Cloudy Black Heart. Mm -mm. <laughs> Daniel. You drank it all. I did not. Yeah, that was Gene Dutuliev no. who brought the bottle. Yeah. He and brought the bottle. We of drank course, it all. We need to finish. I had lunch with Gene and he's still talking about that. He's yeah, like, yeah, Rex really knows how to polish off of Spence's bottles. <laughs> Hold on. And I was like, Gene, you drank it with him. Yes, he did. And he was like, yeah, well. And it was his idea. Yeah. He's like, yeah, well. I didn't wave him off. <laughs> But it was his idea. But I think we have to have something around here. In the Dude, it's Rare Whiskey Friday. I know, though, but... The I'm, not, I'm tired. I have to Obviously go back you're tired. to pumping equipment you around look, a distillery. I will wrap up this episode. I'll put a bow on it. You just point me. I don't. There's no black art in here. We just did a thing. We did like a live stream with Berglotti. We had to have had the brat loot. Or was that the... No, that was Octomore and the Octomore classic and the, Yeah. And the uh, Port Charlotte heavily peated. 10. No, I'm mistaken, Daniel. It was the Port Charlotte heavily peated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nailed it. Uh, worthwhile experiments. I think, though, I think just the classic Barton by itself. I wish it had married together better. And I don't know if it's just that it didn't stay in the finishing barrels long enough, because who knows how long it was in there, or was it too long, but whatever it is, they feel disjointed. Mm. 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 For anyway. me, it's either between the Chardonnay and the port. The, the, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell Yeah, not really feeling up. Uh, here's somebody stealing and drinking. If you fight, may I fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.